Hi and hello, I am Athena Pondian here. Welcome to the Control System for the Biomedical Engineers Classroom once again. Today I am going to say some of the most important, that is five most important tips you need to follow for reducing the block by using block diagram reduction rule. So any sort of block diagram if you have, if you want to reduce the block by applying block diagram reduction rule, then these are all the most important, five most important tips you need to follow. Come let me see the class. Among the five important tips, the first tip you need to follow is, once you have received the question, the first thing you need to do is, how many forward paths are there in the block diagram reduction? That is, forward path is nothing but, of course, we know that it starts from the input and end towards the output. Okay, it may be in this direction or it may be in this direction, whatever it is. But the thing is, it should not be written back to the input. It starts from the input and moving towards the output. That is the forward path. So it just took how many forward paths are there in that particular block diagram reduction. The first tip itself, we just look how many loops are there. How many loops, of course, you know that it starts from one point and towards the same point. Okay, so this is considered as the loop. So loop is maybe is like this, as like as this, and it may be uh, like this. It starts from one point and end towards the same point. That loop are called as the feedback path. That is a negative feedback path or positive feedback path. So how many loops are there, you just note out. That is the first tip I need to say. So how many forward paths and how many loops are there to arrange. Okay. The second tip among the five tip is, how many feedback paths are there. Just look, in this particular first step itself, I just say how many loops are present. The loops may be uh, in between that there are so many branches are there, there are so many summing pointers there. That is also considered as a loop. What I am saying is, without any disturbances, how many feedback paths are there in the block diagram? That is the next thing you need to note. Okay. Then, if there is any block diagram there, then count how many block diagram uh, that is feedback path is there or not. Okay. Then, then the third tip you need to follow is. If in case the second step is not there in the problem, that is separate or individual feedback path is not there. Individual feedback path in the sense it having the summing point, it having the element and this and this. This is the individual feedback path. There is no disturbances here, here, here and everything. This is the individual feedback path. So the, if, the, if in case the second step you don't have any individual feedback path like this, then the next step you need to say is where is the branch points are there in the block diagram just look all the branch point there just look if there is any movement of if there is any replacement required for the branch point to move ahead of the block or behind the block then you just do it just look if there is any branch point is there in the loop okay if you want to move the branch point ahead of the block or behind the block then we got the separate individual feedback path if there then do that Okay, go for the branch point. Then, as same as that of after the branch point look, then summing point. If you want to move, move that particular summing point ahead of the block or behind the block, then we got the individual feedback path. If in case, if it is okay, then do that. That is the fourth tip I need to do. Then, fifth. There is no branch point moving. There is no summing point required for moving. If even though we are uh, moving the branch point ahead of the block or behind the block or summing point moving ahead of the block or behind the block, we are not supposed to get this individual feedback path. Then what is the next thing you need to do is take all the summing point, interchanging the summing point or splitting the summing point. This is the thing you need to do. Because most of the time the students feel that if you are moving branch point also, if you are moving summing point also, we are not supposed to get any feedback point. The next thing you need to do is, you are just interchanging the summing point. If the interchanging is acquired, then damn sure the feedback path is coming. So that is what the fifth tip you need to follow is, interchanging the summing point. Then you get surely get this feedback. So our aim is, all among the five tip, our main aim is, we need to frame a feedback path. If it is not there, then apply these type of tips. Then a feedback path is acquired in this particular system, then it is very comfortable for you to reduce the block. Okay, so these are all the five important tips you need to follow. 
that is first thing is number of forward path and number of loop you just required you just keep it in the mind don't need to write it in the solutions number of forward path and number of loop how many are there then if in case the second tip if there is any loop there individual feedback path is there or not you just check okay then the third tip if the individual feedback path is not there is there is any disturbances in between the summing point and the block or the feedback path you just look if you want to move this branch point ahead of the block or behind the block then we get the individual feedback path then you just go ahead then look the summing point if there is any disturbances over there in the feedback path uh, if we want to move the uh, summing point ahead of the block or behind the block then we get the individual feedback path then ahead then the last step there is no thing available in that particular sum then go ahead with the interchanging of the summing part damn sure among this five steps your feedback path should be arrive if you are apply any of any sort of these steps okay so feedback path is the most important thing for reducing the block very comfortably okay so that's all about the today's class you just please remember this five steps to solve the block diagram reduction thank you very much